uh, third day of presentation uh, season three post colonial studies uh, i'm going to start my presentation with a quotation by fans fanon because my presentation is based upon uh, entirely fanon's ideas of violence uh, fanon once quoted that uh, we are revolting not for any particular culture but we are re uh, revolting uh, very simply for so many things which we are we cannot uh, breathe for them Yes. So, uh, in Livia Parmar's presentation, we have uh, seen uh, Fanon's personal life and uh, personal information about and uh, contribution of Fanon's in uh, literature. Uh, Fanon's born on the uh, in the year of 1925 and in the French colon capital of French colony that is Martigue. And uh, then, uh, when India was getting independence in 1947, and uh, then in early age he was getting education of medicine, and then he went to the get uh, educated uh, in 1952. That is psychiatrist, and uh, he was keenly interested uh, in the psychology. Uh, then he uh, written a work that is uh, black skin and white marks. Uh, people are uh, very um, fond of that work and his notable works are like uh, black skin and white marks and wretched of the earth uh, because of two works he is getting the fame uh, in the uh, age we are living and uh, uh, when he was uh, going to be died at that time the later part uh, in his life he got frame, uh, fame uh, when we uh, go to the finance thoughts like which are the main elements which uh, he was carrying in his thoughts that is first his trace on black consciousness and his revolt against racist colonialism we know, now know that uh, as many presentations are uh, watched here so we know now that uh, what is colonialism what is colonizers what is colonized and uh, how was the process of colonialism by the divya parma's presentation and uh, now we, i'm not going to with the same ideas but uh, here Fanon was very personally uh, uh, conscious about uh, this uh, racism and this consciousness we can see in the work of Fanon that is black skin and white marks. Secondly, his belief in and concern for creating a humanism. Uh, humanism is something for uh, every uh, writer was concerning about at that time after World War II. Thirdly, the incorporation of existentialist and Marxist influences uh, we know that at the uh, at the time of uh, second world war uh, was getting um, getting end of the war at that time people were very uh, hungry to know about existentialism and uh, marxist idea was on the glorification fourthly the discovery of uh, peasantry agents of revolution in the third world peasantry uh, means the uh, title under the farmers are uh, going and it was the fourth concern of Fanon. Finally, his glorification of violence as he was the psychiatrist and we know that uh, World War II uh, was just happened uh, when the Fanon was uh, going to study the psych psychology and where he, uh, when, when we go to the text that is Richard of the Earth, first um, chapter of the title is uh, of violence as uh, he was very concerning personally about the violence and uh, my presentation is going to give a glimpses of that what is the three main aspect of the issue under consideration of violence that is it discusses the meaning of violence in finance thought it analyzes the uh, importance of finance strategies to violence in the process of revolution because he was the one who, uh, who was believing that if we want to be free from the colonized uh, we have to uh, we have to practice the process of violence it subjects his theory of violence to critical scrutiny scrutiny meaning of violence uh, fanon writes in the uh, he has he has given the meanings of violence in the uh, various sense that is first is physical injury uh, we normally think as a human being that when it the word violence came to us we always think about physical injury that is, their first encounter was worked by violence and their existence, that is to say, the expo exploitation of the native by the settler was carried on by dint of a great array of binots and cannon. 
so they their first encounter so he is uh, addressing the colonizers that how uh, their their idea of processing of colonization and how they were working by violence in the sense of force he is uh, telling that the colonial regime in term of violence he says it is obvious here that the agents of government speak the language of pure force we have seen that uh, this lang language uh, certain kind of languages are used in political uh, political discourse when we were uh, we were studying uh, the novel 19 1984 in that we have seen uh, as a matter of fact fenan has used the term violence and force interchangeably he writes the hecatombs uh, are an indication that between processor and uh, oppressor and oppressed everything can be sold by forces that uh, he is quoted his that um, not only the colonizers were believing, believing that uh, violence is a weapon to uh, do colonization but the, the people who are oppressed they were also believing to uh, violence to revolting in the process explaining the real nature of violence fenan says we have seen that it is the institution of the colonized masses that their liberation must and can only be achieved by force as i have said that uh, colonizers were strongly believed in violence the representatives of the colonial countries were aggressive and violent and carried things to extreme his violence means anything except non violence his concept of violence encompasses almost the entire range of political pressure it is not like that uh, colonizers were uh, doing while while thing the col um, this uh, colonized people that by only the physical violence but they were using a very weapon of psychological they were men mentally traumas were there after the sec second world war and uh, we have we know that uh, fenan has studied the uh, various cases in the text that that is richard of the earth and he has the through the light by the um, psychological lens upon this uh, cases various including physical or psychological injury aggression military course coercion uh, power and uh, power or force these are the keywords uh, fenan is giving for the violence importance of violence first fenan maintains Uh, that it is only through violence that man creates himself now uh, there are many figures who have given the uh, various kind of ideas about the importance of violence is that it that is hegel man is product of his thought that is very common we have uh, we can see in many works we are studying in the literature and marx is saying that man is the pro uh, product of labor because it was the time when uh, colonized people were Uh, only the uh, living by the state of, of labor and then fenan is putting his idea that man products himself through himself according to sartre sartre is a french uh, uh, literary figure and we cannot forget when the fenan is coming to our way that sartre has to come uh, definitely that is fenan makes it clear that ir ir irrepressible violence is neither uh, sa neither sound and fury nor the resurrection of savage instincts nor even the effect of resentment it is man recreating himself according to sartre sartre has quote, uh, sartre has noted uh, uh, into his in, into his uh, word that is fenan how the fenan is um, giving the idea to the um, his own idea that man products himself through himself the native uh, native cures himself of colonized neurosis by thrusting out the settler through force of arms we know that uh, colonized colonizers were very um, who were having a very strength of arms and they are they are you, they are used to do the violence by arms when his rage boils over boils over Uh, he discover uh, he rediscovers his lost innocence and he becomes to know himself in that he himself re, uh, creates his self so here uh, these lines are telling that uh, so colonizers were uh, making the spot for colonized people and then that uh, they force by force they make uh, colonized people to fit in into that spot and then they were going to uh, be natural in that particular sport which are made by the colonizers
so that they cannot revolt second violence as a catharsis catharsis is a very uh, well known term in psychological uh, psych psychology that is purifactory role of uh, violence we know that uh, uh, with the catharsis there is the name of uh, sigmund freud and any uh, many other uh, psychologist who has uh, throw the light upon the catharsis the third acts as a un, un, un unifying force for the na uh, native people uh, fenon is watch uh, fenon is saying that uh, this uh, violence is a for, uh, is a term that making native people to unified fourth that is fenon maintains that violence pays not only during the colonial struggle for independence but also in the second phase of decolonization because after the colonization we all know that decolonization happened and it was a very uh, in a calm way but it was a violent way uh, fifth that is violence alone violence committed by the people violence organized and educated by its leaders makes it possible for the masses to understand social truths and gives the key to them without the struggle there is nothing but a fancy dress parade and the blare of the trumpets now when in this fenon is saying that uh, violence when we uh, go to the word violence and the term we all always think of a personal violence but there are uh, political to personal and personal to political this vice versa process are process is going on and how it is going on that in this sentence fenon has described then uh, he is saying that uh, by the uh, term of violence that is a very uh, kind of positive we can say bit a positive that is that is a uh, native people get political consciousness and awake uh, towards the violence now uh, criticized views upon the ideas of uh, fenon about violence that is fenon mistaken when he make violence is a cause for colonial alienation because violence was from the both sides that is colonizer and colonized uh, as we have seen the all entirely uh, ideas of fenon uh, towards the violence he has only um, point out the colonizers but he is not uh, he, he was not able to see the both the sides because uh, even the colonized people were using the violence to revolt against the colonizer violence may uh, degenerate into politic uh, political masochism a fundamental objection may be raised against fanon's view that violence frees the individual from his fear and inferiority complexes fenon's own psychiatric case history prove beyond doubt that the act of killing is de uh, dehumanizing and uh, that is leads to neurosis and distortion of personality the yes, psychology always believes that if the person is uh, uh, going to do uh, going to attempt the act of killing uh, that will be always dehumanizing and uh, it creates it uh, creates the frees the individual from his fear and inferiority complex it is definitely going to be work with violence idea but uh, in the other end we can say that dehumanizing is happening sartre presents anti antisemitism as a universal phenomenon and approaches it from analytic uh, analytical rather than historical perspective this both the i can see the similarity between the sartre and fanon that is he, uh, they both were uh, seeing the situation not by historical way or not a universal view but they were uh, only uh, seeing the situation by the point of view around the french uh, france or uh, we can say around the algeria what is the native place for them they were not uh, carried the idea or historical sense into them by by their ideas we can come to know perhaps uh, now we are going to uh, go into the addiction term that is can violence be an addiction uh, here I have put it uh, many uh, dialogues by the scholar. That is, uh, this is the research work uh, of one one of the uh, scholar. That our lab has really shown that that's true. Ne uh, negative emotions uh, are there. Re uh, Chester said, but positive emotions actually also play a pretty big role in aggressive behavior as well. So aggression can feel good and that pleasure, but the associated what we uh, what we call uh, hedonic reward is a really pot, uh, potent motivating force that uh, here chester is a research scholar is uh, he has done many research in the term of violence and he is telling that uh, uh, how he is working and what is the 
uh, ideas he got from his research that is uh, the, how positive emotions also can be considered in the violence because it is provoking to the uh, uh, to do the bad things and it bad things become the cause of uh, one can feel good by that so aggression is not just about i am angry and i want to hit someone chester said it is also about how it feels good say, good sometimes to get revenge on someone who has wronged you and uh, or uh, who you perceive as having wronged you now uh, we we can get to relate this uh, whatever chester is saying that sometimes we feel that uh, some someone is uh, someone is getting um, get revenge towards us or we are uh, we are getting the feeling feeling of taking revenge to, towards uh, other so it is going to under the uh, violence it follows this trajectory where negative and positive emotion fit together he said so i feel bad i don't want to feel bad so i am looking for things that makes me feel good well we have always known that drugs and risky behavior are in that group we are saying that aggression belongs in that group too and that people seek it out when they are feeling bad and that they use it like like a tool to help themselves re, uh, regulate their mood state and when they do that it activates uh, this addiction uh, addiction circuits Uh, in the brain and it reinforces this behavior uh, this behavior behavior of who are doing uh, who are doing kind of violence there are so many kinds of now we know that violence and there are uh, when we when we uh, see it very first time we know we, when we don't know this theory we feel that it is only the negative term and it in ne- negative causes are for uh, responsible for this but now we know that there are the two uh, trajectory is going with the two aspect that is negative and positive both the emotions are working together here uh, what nulls uh, naltrexon basically does it uh, does it blocks uh, pleasure naltrexon is a kind of uh, uh, liquid which is helping us to uh, helping us to behave in a certain kind of situation and circumstances like uh, when we are getting into a uh, struggle or something like that he said it keeps you from he- uh, feeling good from things that would normally make you feel good it's used commonly to treat alcohol de- uh, dependence this individual when they want to have a drink they get a drink and they feel good if you have a uh, naltrexone nel- implant which they replace every 6 weeks or so you have a drink you are waiting for the buzz to kick in you might get a little but you are not really getting the same bump that you used to because this drug blocks the typical pleasure enhancing uh, neuro uh, neurotransmitters and uh, neurochemicals for during their job uh, from during their job it stain it stains in their way this is my work citation thank you so amisha my question is that as you mentioned uh, the psychological effect described by fanon so there are so many effects like economical uh, socially or uh, physically so why ha- you uh, mention that psychological effect is uh, fanon uh, mentioned that uh, psychological effect is more uh, uh, staying as long and uh, can you find any similar ideas about uh, psychology in sartre's idea of psychology yes uh, psychology is kind of field it uh, in comparison uh, with the all kind all the fields we are having it is a new kind of not very new but it is new in the itself and when we go to the psychology we know that it is uh, the all system or all mechanism is based into into that and uh, fanon is personally uh, throw the light upon the aspect of psychological in in her, his uh, work that is wretched of the earth and he has given the title in the first chapter that is on violence so he is uh, making it concerning and he he has having a different concern about the psychological aspect uh, because in the uh, at the time 
world war was uh, world war was uh, happening at that time and people were very uh, into the mental traumas and at that time psychology were not that much uh, developed at it itself it's uh, the, this field and fanon was the um, make it uh, light in a very bright way so and sartre yes sartre and fanon both are the belongs to the uh, french literature and uh, they are i have mentioned in my presentation that sartre is also kind of uh, thinker that uh, he has not um, he was not having that uh, universal view when he was coming to psychology he was studying the uh, french colonies people who are living there and their cases are to be studied in the even when we see to the uh, text that is wretched of the earth so in that sense they are the both the similarity because fanon is also studying this kind of uh, cases into that but uh, if we don't know that colonization was the process that was happening into the uh, half of the world but, uh, but if uh, the people particular native people is having this kind of struggle so uh, an other land the other native people was having another kind of struggle it it should be studied in the finance work as per my uh, commentation Amisha, are there any solutions given by uh, Fanon to solve the violence? Yes, uh, this is the work when uh, it was written when the very in a re very recent scenario when World War Second was uh, getting into end. So at that time, people were very facing a very kind of uh, different or uh, we can say weird kind of disorders, mental disorders and psychological disorders were facing that. and then uh, he has he has given a uh, many psychotherapy when the psycho like psychological disorder comes then psychologist give the psychotherapies to cure uh, that disorder so he might be talking about uh, this and uh, any particular i didn't study the any particular case from that text so uh, any particular uh, psychotherapy i cannot count here but uh, if the psychology is come with the psycho uh, psychological disorders then the therapy will come automatically by the psychologist because the psychologists are having that duty to give a therapy or cure to the people and uh, he was a writer and more he was a psychiatrist and he has given a contribution 5 years to revolution uh, revolutionary to france and he was uh, serving to people even 